right, let's read on in the one and only Ivan. This is page 256, Leaving. Early in the morning, Maya arrives with many other humans. Some have white coats, some have rustling papers. They are hushed, busy, determined. Ruby enters her box first. I'm scared, Ivan, she calls from inside the box. I don't want to leave you. A part of me doesn't want her to leave either, but I know I can't tell her that. Think of all the amazing stories you can share with your new family, I say. Ruby falls silent. I'll tell them your elephant joke, she says after a long pause, the one about the refrigerator. I bet they'd like that. And be sure to tell them about Bob and Julia and me. I clear my throat. <clears throat> and Stella. I'll remember everyone, Ruby says, especially you. Before I can say any more, they roll her cage out to the waiting truck. It's my turn. Bob is hiding in the corner behind my pool. The humans don't even notice him. While they're busy making sure my box is ready, Bob sneaks over. He licks my chin just in case there are any leftovers. You, I whispered, are the one and only Bob. I reach for not tag. She is a limp rag without her stuffing. Dribbles of paint cover her fur. I hold her out to Bob. He tilts his head confused. To help you sleep, I say. Bob takes her in his teeth and slips away. Page 259, good boy. Good, Ivan, good boy, Maya says when I lumber into my box. I hear the clicker and I'm rewarded with a tiny marshmallow. When I'm settled, Maya gives me a sweet drink that tastes of mango and something bitter. My eyelids grow heavy. I want to see what happens next, but I'm sleepy, so sleepy. I dream I'm with Tag and we're swinging from vines while Stella watches. The sun slices through the thick ceiling of trees and the breeze tastes like fruit. Moving. My eyes flutter open. The box is moving. I'm in the grumbling belly of some great beast. I fall back asleep. I awake to glass and steel. It's a new cage, not unlike my old cage, except it's much cleaner. Hey there, Ivan, Maya says. He's coming too, guys. I have three walls of glass. The fourth wall is a curtain of wooden slats strung together. This doesn't look like the zoos on TV. Where are the other animals? Where are the gorillas? Is this where Ruby ended up? In a cage just like her old cage? Still alone? Is she cold? Hungry? Sad? Is there anyone to tell her stories when she can't go to sleep? Missing. I miss my old cozy cage. I miss my art. But most of all, I miss Bob. My belly's cold without him. Food. The food is fine here. No soda, though, or cotton candy. Not famous. I have no visitors here. No sticky-fingered children or weary parents. Only Maya and her humans come with their soothing voices and soft hands. I wonder if I have stopped being famous. Endless days pass, and then I notice something. A change. I don't know what it is, but it, I taste it in the air, like far-off rain clouds gathering. A new TV. Maya brings me a TV. It's bigger than my old one. She turns it on. I think you're going to like this show, she says, smiling. I'm hoping for a romance or maybe a Western, but it's a nature show, one without human voices or ads. It's a show about gorillas being gorillas. I watch them eat and groom and play fight. I even watch them sleep. I wonder why Mac never put it on this channel. The family. Every day I watch the gorillas on the TV screen. It's a small family and an odd one, just three females and a juvenile male without a silverback to protect them. They groom each other and eat and sleep and they groom each other some more and then they are content a contented group, placid and good-natured, although like any family, they bicker from time to time. Excited. This morning, for some reason, there's no gorilla show on TV. Maya and the other humans are excited. They chirp like birds at dawn. Today's the day, they say. I've watched many humans watch me, but they've never ha looked so happy. Maya goes to the wall of wooden slats. She grins goofily, and then she pulls a string. What I see. Gorillas. 
three females and a juvenile male. It's the family I've been watching, but they're not on a TV screen. They're on the other side of the glass, watching me, watching them. I see me, lots of me. Still there, I cover my eyes. I look again, they're still there. And we'll stop there.